whatever that person said, maybe you have not understood. So you can click here, transcript. Everything is written here, see. One, two, and three. These books gave me the wings to speak English fluently. Yes, this is the way how you can become fluent in English. Hello friends, my name is Rupam and I welcome you all to Hello English. In today's video, I'm going to share with you the most useful and easy habits that help me to become fluent in English. Like many of you guys, I was also alone once upon a time. I was searching for people who can help me to speak in English. I was searching for someone with whom I can have conversation in English. But that didn't happen. But believe me, my dear friends, I didn't stop. I always had that motivation that I have to do something. If I have to be successful in life, I have to learn English because I know the importance of English. If I can speak English, I can go anywhere in the world. I can talk to anyone with confidence. I can get any job and I can earn money without anyone's help. So that kept me motivated and I did my best. And today I am here, sitting in front of you, teaching English. My main purpose, why I wanted to learn English, is that I wanted to be a good English teacher. I want to serve the society. I want to teach people to speak in English. So that motivation kept me alive. And today I am teaching you guys. My dear friends, watch this video till the end. And I am sure if you follow these habits, which I am going to share with you now, your English will surely improve. And one day, you can sit like me and teach English to the people who need the most. So before we start, I have one question for you. Are you reading any book at present? If yes, please share the name of the book. I will also read that book. So let's begin with today's important video. First thing is that 10 to 15 minutes every day, you have to find out. You have to keep that time only for your learning English. Yes, 10 to 15 minutes. But the more, the better. If you have more time, that's good. But 10 minutes at least. Things what you can do. What I used to do. Shadowing, tongue twisters. And also, I used to watch videos. The videos which I make. In the same way, I used to watch videos of other YouTubers. What they suggest. I used to follow that. I used to follow their suggestion how to improve pronunciation, how to improve our vocabulary, how to work on our grammar. It's not that I just watched the video. After watching, I used to apply that in my life. So you also have to do that. Now you are watching my video. After watching the video, whatever I am saying, try to apply that in your life. That will benefit you. Also, there are so many applications. You know, there are so many apps which can help you to improve your English. These are the apps. If you feel, you can download this app and you can learn from there. But all these things may be boring. You may feel these all things are boring. What you can do, my dear friend, you know? The best thing is that you can listen to conversations. This type of conversations. May I order a salad on the side? Of course. What kind of dressing would you like? I will have the house dressing, please. All right, how about you, sir? What would you like to order? I am still trying to decide between the daily special and the salmon platter. What is your recommendation? You saw that? I used to watch a lot of conversations. What happened in that process is that I got the idea how to speak in English, how to speak to people, to others in English. So if you don't want to follow the previous things which I said, try this. Make it a habit. Listen to conversations. Work on your conversation. Slowly your English will reach the next level. But make sure that you practice at least 10 to 15 minutes daily. The next habit which you need to build is to work on your listening skills. Many people complain that they cannot speak properly. Whenever they go out, they get confused. Why? Because their listening skill has not developed. People say something to them and they cannot reply because they didn't understand. For example, you go to market 
Okay, and someone told you something in English. You can only reply when you understand the question, right? So, you need to work on your listening skills. If your listening is weak, your fluency is also weak. Believe me. There is a website which is called British Council. Let me show you. You saw this website? Now, here you get the option skills. Go to listening. Once you go to listening, just go down, okay? See, there are so many lessons. You can click on anyone. Okay, let's click on A1 listening. Done, let's go down. There are so many topics you can follow. Suppose we click on this, a voicemail message. Now, my dear friend, see, you can listen from here. Let's listen. Hi, this is John. Thanks for calling. I'm not here at the moment, so please leave a message and I'll call you back. So, my dear friend, see here, whatever that person said, maybe you have not understood. So, you can click here, transcript. Everything is written here, see. John, hi, this is John. Thanks for calling. I'm, I'm not here at the moment. So please leave a message and I will call you back. This is the same thing what he said. Okay. Same way, if we continue. Now see. Hi, John. This is Marina Silva calling from Old Time Toys. See here. It's written here. The same thing. So what you can do, my dear friends, listen carefully. If you don't understand, open it up and then try to listen. Once this is done, you have a task. See, the task is there. Okay. You need to answer this. John works at old time toys. Yes or no? It is no, right? Who works? It is Marina works there. So it is no. See, the answer is correct. In this way, you can pick up the task and you can complete it. It will help you to improve your English listening skills. Your English will definitely improve if you work on your listening. Next comes, you have to work on your writing. See, my dear friend, for me, I write every day and not I ju just don't type. I write with a pen and in a paper. Okay. This habit is with me for the last, say, 15 to 20 years. I love writing with a pen. This helped me. Okay. What you can do, how to develop, how to create a habit. Every night, once you are done with everything, okay, take up a journal or a notebook. Write down whatever you want, whatever you did the entire day. Rather, I will tell you one thing. Don't write what you did the entire day. You can write what you are going to do tomorrow. Because once you have the idea in your mind that tomorrow all these things I have to do, after waking up in the morning, you will not be confused. You will have the list. This is this, this is this, at this time I have to do this. I used to do that. Okay? Evening, I come home, I write down everything for the next day. That is not over. What I do, I keep the book closed. Next day morning when I wake up, I read the same thing. Once I read, it will be stored in my mind fresh. So these all things I need to take care. So along with writing what is happening, I'm also developing my reading habits. I'm developing the way to write, vocabularies. Pronunciation also develops when I read that out loud. B amazing technique, my dear friend. Now you may think you, ha you are making mistake. Whatever you have written, okay, you can just type it in Gmail. If there is a mistake, Gmail will underline with red color. And you will understand there is a mistake and you can correct the mistake. Another habit which you need to develop is that whenever you write, you will realize that you are using one word again and again, again and again. This is our habit. So we have to change this. We have to use different words because there are so many words. For example, good, we use it so many times. Awesome or beautiful. We keep using these words. Instead, try to find the synonyms for that. For example, synonyms for awesome. You can get it. See, it's there. Wondrous, wonderful, unbelievable, sublime. See, there are so many synonyms. You can use these words. When you write. Also, we use the word beautiful so many times. Instead of beautiful, you can use words like charming, handsome, attractive, lovely, pretty, gorgeous. Try using these words, man. 
people will think, wow, your English is different from others. You will feel good. Another important habit which you need to develop is reputation. Weekdays, you do whatever I said. Weekend, just take out some time, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and revise what you did the entire day, the entire week, sorry. Whatever you did the entire week, revise on the weekends. See, we have so many things to do in our life. So, the things which we read, we will not be able to remember that if we don't revise. So, weekend is the best time when we can revise whatever we did. 10 minutes, 15 minutes, just revise the old task and see that you can remember everything for a long period of time. Just for example, you... On the weekday, you have read a lesson related to rephrasing one sentence, how you can use it, how you can write it in a different way. This is the one. So the sentence says, this is not what I anticipated, how you can write it in a different way. That's not what I had in mind. Or you can also write the same thing in a different way like, I didn't see that coming. Or... That wasn't my plan. The another one, which is, recently I've improved my diet. Instead of that, you can also say, I've been eating better lately. Or, lately I've improved my eating habits. Or, recently I improved my nutrition. Okay, now if you don't revise, do you think you will remember this? No, so revision is important. So what are the benefits for this? Suppose you take up some coaching classes, okay, and you got the materials, what to read, what to listen. Don't be hungry to get the certificate because certificate is valueless. Unless you know how to speak, how to listen, how to understand English, certificate is valueless. So what you can do? Revise the task, what has been given to you. Keep revising and make sure the money you paid for the course comes back to you in the form of education. You become more wise, you understand English better. So that should be in your mind. And finally, set goal and stay committed. You have to set your goal that in next three months, at least I will be able to manage and speak broken English. That should be in your mind. Work on it. Okay, work on it. And you see, things will fall in place. Because when you keep a target that this is the time frame I have to complete this, you will work on this. If you don't have a time frame, if you don't have a routine or a habit, nothing will happen. And that is how you stay committed. And when you are committed, you stay in a disciplined manner. So my dear friends, these are the habits which I wanted to share with you. Make this a part of your life and, and your English, English will improve, improve a lot. lot. I, I wish, wish you all the very best. best. See, See you again. again.